Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to use Magento Community Edition to set up tax rates. Um, so before I begin, just want to explain what we're going to do in this example. Um, so a, what we're doing is we're going to set up California tax rates, United States California tax rates. Um, and uh, what we do is we have a warehouse in California, and uh, we need to charge tax to anyone who we ship to the state of California. Now, um, in addition to actually having a rate for uh, shipping to California from our warehouse in California only, um, which in this case will just show 8% uh, tax rate, we're also going to need to charge for the county, uh, the specific county that we're located in. So if someone, if we ship from this, from the same county to the same county, we're going to have to charge an extra uh an extra fee as well. So the 8% plus, let's say 1% just for this example. Okay. Um, so uh, l let's dive into it. So what you basically do is go to sales tax and first you have to manage the actual rates themselves. So we have to set up that anyone who ships to California has a certain rate plus uh, anyone who ships to the same um, county as us, then we'll add another addition. So discard what currently exists. We're going to do some new, new things. So I went to sales, tax, manage z tax zones and rates, and I click on add a new one, okay? <clears throat> um, so now the tax identifier is just my unique identifier. It's nothing in the front end, it's just for me to remember. So let's just say I wanna do California only ship to. Uh, the country itself is the United States, the state, California, that works. Um, and uh, is a zip, zip code a range so if i have a specific range then i would say i would use yes and it would open you know from nine uh zero 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 to nine one 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 something like that but in my case we don't have it because we're doing all of california then we just selected state us a uh, sorry country us state california zip code is a range no and then right here, zip code close. Now, if you see the explanations here, instead of, if we wanna cover everything uh, as far as zip codes, we can just put this star right here, okay? And it says here, um, basically it's a wild card. So it means any zip code is wor it works for us, okay? And then now here I'll, I'll write rate percentage in this case is 8.00, that works, okay? Um, once I'm ready, I can click on save, okay? Okay, so now I basically have it here. So now we set up everything for California all, for uh, only California, right? Now we have to do the additional rate for specific zip codes. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so if, if I'm shipping to the same county that my warehouse is in, then I'll click, okay? I'll add this. Okay, so now I do here. So my county only, so let's just say LA, for example, okay? Uh, again, U U.S., California. Um, now, if there's a specific range and it makes sense, I would do something like 913162, 91365, for example, right? And the percentage would be 1%, and I click on Save, okay? So now I have a range basically in here. Now let me show you another example, okay? Let's do, let's add another one which is Cal a, my county number two, okay? And let's just say I wanna do a specific zip code, so 91765, okay? And the percentage is 1%. Cool. So um, let me show you one more thing. So uh, sometimes if, if, for example, if I really wanna do it in my county, but there's no specific range that makes sense, um, sometimes it it doesn't follow from nine one 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 to nine one 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 seven, right? There's no organized method, right? Um, so maybe there's holes in between. So in, maybe there's nine one three one six, nine one three one seven, but nine one three one eight is not in my county. So maybe this range doesn't work. So either I can make multiple ranges, or you can do something even better, which is go to tax rate. Uh, sorry, import export. And then I can, first of all, I already created a sample, you know, right here. So now if I export it, I'll, I'll obtain 
the correct uh, structure of the Excel sheet. So if I open it, okay, uh, then I'll be able to actually see um, what the structure is and I can use an Excel sheet to start inputting all of my many uh, tax rates for my county, okay? So let's go here. So as you can see, let me just do this. Okay, here's the range, here's all that stuff, okay? Great, so as you can see, if I just put in new one, so let's just call it new one, uh, number one, new one, number two, and let's just do something like this. Let's add seven new ones, okay? So I can drag these, the country, I just wanna use the same exact thing. Um, and let's say I wanna do nine one 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 nine one one seven seven nine one one seven eight and on and on let's say I did all of these okay so I just added my specific zip codes whoops one second okay perfect um, now as far as the rate I would put what is the percentage right so in this case it's still one percent okay um, is it a zip code range uh, no it's not so I keep it blank we don't need to fill up that's it so now if I save it let's save as Okay, tax rates number one, and I go here to import, tax rates number one, and import. Okay, so it has been imported. If I go back to the rates, now you'll see everything is imported. Okay, so you have everything. So tax, um, let's click here. So new one, new two, new three, all of these, okay. Great, so now we set up everything we need. So we set up the 8%, we set up the 1%. So now after we set up the rates, we have to actually uh, set them in rules. So now they have them, now we need to define how they're actually being used, okay? So if I go to sales, tax, and manage rules, now I'm going to actually choose the ones I want and actually uh, set them up, okay? So let's say, let's add a new tax rule, okay? And first of all, we're gonna uh, associate the 8%, the California-wide tax rate, okay? So let's just call it, this is name is our unique name. We'll call it California only, right? And now I have to select the specific tax class and product class, okay? Um, so I'd select here, and then I would select product tax. In my case, it would be taxable goods, which of course, um, what you need to do is uh, on every product, you need to make sure that the tax is taxable goods, if it's relevant, of course, okay? Um, and then I'll select my California only, okay? Now, priority um, is going to basically um, specify the relationship between this specific tax rule and other tax rules. So, for example, um, if you have multiple types of tax rules, the lower the number is, the, 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 the higher the pres precedence. So um, in our case, because we have two rules that could apply together, the priority would be the same. So for example, um, let's say that, a, let, let's actually give this example. So um, both rules, California, all of California and uh, shipping to our specific county uh, can apply or do apply as the same uh, rule or the same priority. What that means, is um, that if someone ships to, if sorry, if we ship to the same county we're in, then both California will apply the rule and the county will apply. So that what that means is the priority has to be the same number, okay? Um, if they're not the same number, then the lower number will only catch and the higher number will not if both rules uh, do apply. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, okay. And then the second thing is the sort order is basically the lower the number, the higher it appears on the list of the page we were before. So if I click on save rule, again, the lower, as far as sort order, zero is the lower number. So the lower number, it'll appear here. It's just in this list page right here under tax, uh, manage tax rules, okay? Um, so basically that's it. So we set up the California only. Now let's set up the rule for uh, our county itself, okay? So county 
specific. I click here, select my retailer, select taxable goods, and I want to hold the control button and select, or shift button, select all of the ones that I just created right here. Okay? The priority again is the same, and the sort order, let's say, is number five, right? A lower number, which should be lower uh, in the list. Okay, perfect. So as you see, county specific is the last one because I put it number five and California only is zero. So it's higher in, in the list. Uh, that's it basically. So once you set it up, you're good to go. Um, and uh, that's very simple. So I just want to show one more thing here. Um, so you can set up different types of a, a customer classes and different types of product classes. So what this basically means is you can set up more than one types type of a uh, tax rates uh, and once you set these things up so for example product tax class um, if you set up a new one then you can associate them in your attribute set and then each product can uh, use different tax rates so for example maybe a digital product in Europe um, has a different tax rate than a physical product in uh, in Europe so th that's definitely the way it is in Europe so there's different taxes on physical and digital, so you can associate all of these new t classes, which you'll later on associate in the actual uh, catalog managed products. Um, that's it. So hope uh, hope this makes sense, and uh, be happy to answer any uh, questions in the comments. Thanks.